Stephen King is a cabal-staged author, just like every famous mainstream author out there, where you see their books shoved in your face all the time in bookstores or on Amazon. These people are propagandists who push a bullshit view of reality on you for the agenda. Don't get me started on David Baldacci and his bullshit, where he purportedly writes how the federal government fucking works. I need to come back to that guy at some point. On October 3rd, 1978, Stephen King published The Stand. The plot centers on a pandemic of a weaponized strain of influenza that kills almost the entire world population. Let's take a look at how this was absolute predictive programming to make you buy into the scam that is going on now and how this shows that they were planning this scam as far back as the 1970s. Of course, the occult numerologists that they all are, they have to do everything by the Gematria code. The flu in the novel is nicknamed Captain Trips, which is a constantly shifting antigen virus that kills 99.4% of the population. And once more, as everything that has to do with the coronavirus bullshit, we're brought back to number 56 again. Captain Trips is 56 in Gematria. Coronavirus is 56. Stephen King is 56. Think of another recent piece of uh, predictive programming, which came from the Dead Zone TV show, which is based on a Stephen King novel. They also call the virus other names like Blue Virus. You know that the term coronavirus was coined in 1968? Blue and Wuhan both equal 68. Gematria is basically used for the mockery of the enslaved, among other things. You know, create a fictional disease and put it into a novel more than 30 years or 40 years before the planned drama will be played out uh, of a fake pandemic and make it so the name of the fictional disease has the same numeric value in the same cipher as the fake pandemic that will be played out in real life. Goes to show how far they script out our lives while mocking us and we're just supposed to go along for the ride. Captain Trips was developed by a biological weapons defense laboratory under the code name Project Blue. Project Blue is 127, like Scottish Rite of Freemasonry. The virus is set loose on the population when Charlie Campion, who was working in the base that developed it, noticed that the virus has been released in the base and managed to escape with his wife and daughter but not before being infected with it himself. He carried the vi virus all the way to Arnett, Texas before dying, thus setting in motion the events of the novel. Charlie Campion is another 127, and if you write out Arnett, Texas this way, you get another 127. Arnett is 43 like Pandemic. There is no point in me decoding every fucking name in the book. Just the fact that Captain Trips alone equals 56 should speak volumes enough. The book was published in 1978 on October 3rd. Look at just the 1978 alone. Wuhan coronavirus equals 78. Stephen Edwin King is 78 as well. This book was published 353 days before Stephen King's birthday. 353 is the 71st prime number, and this seems relevant because the coronavirus pandemic was declared on the 71st day of the year of 2020. The CDC was founded on the date 7-1 and equals 71 in the reverse ordinal cipher.
The date of the novel's publication had 91 date numerology and was on a day leaving 89 days left in the year. The book's title sums to 91. Of course, virus equals 89, and I have shown, as I have shown coded in other instances. From the date of the book's publication to the coronavirus outbreak was exactly 2,155 weeks. I don't know if this counts, but the 155 sequence is familiar. I've been meaning to do a video on how time and again, in fiction, they love to combine two of their greatest hoaxes together, and that's viral pandemics and nuclear weapons. Pay attention to that. I will later make a video that will reveal why viruses, or what they want us to think they are, is bullshit. But try to dig up novels and movies where nuclear weapons and viral pandemics are depicted together in some way. I've encountered quite a few myself. It happens a lot. Two of their greatest hoaxes to incite fear get combined into these fictional stories. The, this novel, The Stand, is just another book that features both. You will see that in the first chapter of the novel, they have the characters complaining about how the economy is failing. Look at how fitting that is with what's happening now. Basically, it's about industries and businesses shutting down, but not due to the virus. It's just the, the state of the world in the book. I don't think it's random or a coincidence that Stephen King or whoever wrote this made a point of including that in the story. One of the characters is saying, now what I say is this, they just gotta say, screw this inflation shit. Screw the national debt shit. We got the presses and we got the paper. We're gonna run off 50 million thousand dollar bills and hump them right the Christ into circulation. Well, isn't that what the Federal Reserve is always doing anyway? Especially now? By the way, one of the most prominent characters is named Stu Redman, another 56. It's a long and boring fucking novel, and it's based on something that is actually bullshit pseudoscience they have everyone believing. I don't know why people praise this fucking book. It's dull as shit. Just try listening to it, like most of Stephen King's fucking work. This guy's writings is just a fucking psyop to get you depressed and kill yourself. Every single fucking uh, piece of fictional work with this global pandemic theme was written to program you to believe in this fucking scam that they're pulling today. Most people form their worldview from fiction because fiction is entertaining and non-fiction is not and most people who read are just reading fiction. All this book is is a weaponized mind control piece of fiction written by a propagandist. Who knows if Stephen King even writes anything. Do you believe Bill Gates can build a fucking computer? I call bullshit on that too. They are just front men, props, human props for these operations where they dangle these human props into the public eye. I can sit here and document this shit, decoding it using the very code they use to mock us. I can stack the documentation you know, pile sky high and it won't matter to stupid people. People are childlike. They are like victims of a brainwashing cult. They do not want to have to deal with the reality that they don't want to have to deal with the reality that they've been fucking duped. They need all this patriotic rhetoric about America to be real, to have some kind of substance, just so they can get through the day without falling into some horrible depression. Just like fucking religious people. They need their sky fairy, Yahweh, and Jesus fantasy to get through life. And fuck anyone who points out it's bullshit.
they want to believe they are free just because they were permitted a small period of peace and prosperity, which was nothing but an aspect of a psyop that was the hippie revolution designed to soften people up, turn their brains to mush, make them happy so they will go fight phony wars to supposedly protect their phony freedom. Now because of these hordes of pieces of shit, good people are going to suffer and die from tyranny. Good people, like I've already depicted in previous videos, like these boys, bright intelligent people, are going to be destroyed by government tyranny, imprisoned or killed by the police, because the majority would rather be childlike, who can't accept that they've been lied to by everyone and every institution they looked up to. Lied by their government, lied to by their favorite fiction authors, lied to by their education system, lied to by, their, by the fucking media, lied to by their favorite political party. Because these fucking assholes are more concerned with sustaining whatever fantasies the propaganda has instilled in their minds, they will happily be led off the cliff and push all the intelligent good people off of it ahead of themselves. There was an article about the peril of contact tracing, which reads like a fictional story, and I believe it is a fictional story, but it has a good message all the same. Either way, the main character is a man named Henry Cron. You'll notice the 56 coding again in that character's name. And the story is incomplete. I found out Dusty Female Cat equals 155 like coronavirus. What's going to happen on the 155th day of the year? Do you know the plandemic equals 56, but you have to have the in there? The stand was released on a date with 110 numerology. The plandemic is also 110. It has also been called a scamdemic. I'm wondering if they're ever going to tell us that Stephen King either acquired coronavirus or died of it, since his name equals 56. The date of his birthday this year is going to have 70 numerology, another value of coronavirus. His birthday also falls on the 265th day of the year, which is the value of coronavirus outbreak. I wonder if that's the day they plan on announcing the second wave. Think also how the date can be written 21-9, and it will be exactly 2,190 weeks after the book was published. The stand is also 291 in the prime cipher, the prime number cipher, which is just the digits switched around. In one of the Kabbalah ciphers, the stand equals 103, like how it was published on 